and we are back. Bears franchise. And in the last episode, we defeated the Atlanta Falcons 14 to 6. Uh, that improves us to 6 and 2. It looks like the Packers and the Vikings both lost again. Ooh, Cardinals tight end Drew. Evan Drew will be out for significant time. Yikes. Anyway, we are now past the trade deadline. We ended up not making any moves. I think it's best if we are going to make any moves to wait till um, right before draft and during free agency. So, Kelvin Joseph, I'd like to return. He does not want to return, it seems. I'll offer him two year, 2.5 mil a year, and he's going to get 1.5 mil as a bonus. And Kelvin Joseph does not like that offer. So we now have to wait till the bye week to negotiate with him. On the other hand, Tyree Brooks, as you can tell, also not interested in joining us, but. We're, of course, going to give him an offer. We're going to go ahead and give him a player friendly. And he does not want to return. So that kind of puts us in an iffy situation now where really the only two guys I want who I'm able to negotiate with at the moment, I would like Juan Broughton back. I will negotiate with him. Braxton Jones, we might. Marcus Coleman, I've said it before. If we are unable to bring back Okereke, I will bring Marcus Coleman back. Sterling Weverford, I guess I'll bring back since he has such high interest. Ryan Neal for one year for that cheap, I'd love to have back. And I think everyone else, we're going to just let go. Maybe Doug Whittle. Uh, but anyway, we have uh, the Buffalo Bills who are 4-4. Uh, as you can see, they got a 98 overall X-Factor, Josh Allen. They are pretty middle of the pack when it comes down to throwing the ball, running the ball. They really struggle with. I think we're going to go... Hmm, we're going to go for the short pass. I know they're probably going to scramble a bit. They struggle defending the pass. And they're middle of the pack with running the ball. So I think we're going to... We're going to go blitz counter. I actually like that. So, for this week, goal, one interception, I really like that. I think we're going to go for 20 points or less. I think we're going to be right around that 20 mark. And I think we're going to go for win the turnover battle. And without further ado, hopefully no one gets injured this week. I believe we're fully healthy. I believe Jordan Mailata is returning this week. So, we have players to upgrade. Byron Murphy, Kendra Green, Chad Colbert. So that's good. Uh, injury report, anyone get injured? Oh, Jordan Mailata is going to be out for one more game, it appears. Uh, and we're playing the Bills. They're right there. We'll see. They're completely healthy. One last thing before I do start, though, is make sure the roster is good. Make sure you know everyone's in their respective spots. And it appears so. Alright, yeah. And now, without further ado, let's get into this week's episode. Or today's episode, I should say. Where we will be playing the Buffalo Bills for Rising G. Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, Tredavious White, three X Factors. We're asking a lot out of Paul Wallen. Uh, as we see the 2-5 and five Cowboys going up against the 3-5 and five Falcons, who we did beat last week. And we're going to be playing the Cowboys next episode. We will be watching that game, potentially. I'm still unsure. We have the Rams and the Eagles playing each other. And that's a kick out of bounds. You don't see those very often. Green Bay and Seattle will be playing each other. That sucks. Uh, Seattle pulled off the upset against Kansas City last week. 
Baltimore and New Orleans playing each other, Jacksonville and Indianapolis playing each other. That should be a fun division game. Josh Allen is already going to scramble. Shocker. Tampa Bay and Cleveland playing each other. That was the big thing. I couldn't tell or decide, I should say, on what I wanted to do. Uh, Pittsburgh defeats Houston 37-31. I couldn't decide if I wanted to defend the short pass or defend the quarterback scramble. All the way I decided short pass because I feel like they're going to throw the ball more than they scramble. I feel like they're not going to call many designed runs with Josh Allen. Incomplete. Tried to hit one of his receivers, but looks like you weren't paying attention. Third and seven from the 42-yard line. Allen is going to throw, and it is going to be caught by Stephon Diggs over Sean Murphy Bunny. But a fumble! And he, Sean Murphy Bunning picks it up, but out of bounds. I think you see, he tr trust his receiver. Forces the fumble, and then picks it up. You can see the leg. Both feet are still out of bounds, which means he takes the football out of bounds with him, which means still Bill's ball. The New York Jets and the Vegas Raiders playing each other later today, 405. So are the Commanders and 49ers. Singletary's going to get a yard. So are the Chargers and the Dolphins. The Detroit Lions are playing the New York Giants. Complete the digs. He's going to get into the end zone. We have Carolina and Cincinnati playing each other. Carolina losing their first game of the season last week. We have Kansas City and Denver. Two five and two teams. That should be a great game. And an early. That took under two minutes. I mean, it was a kick out of bounds. So they didn't have to go as far as they no, normally would. So, uh, Matt Gay, I believe, if he can kick off the race, let's not do that again. Darren Moody going to elect not to return this kick. Here's Paul Wallen's stat so far. Had a pretty solid game last week in the win over the, uh, the Falcons. Both quarterbacks had a very good game. It just ended up being, you know, both teams' drives just... Stalled out, you know, with missed opportunities to put points on the board. I did not see Minnesota uh, in the score sheet, so I'm going to go on a, a limb and say they're on a bye week. Kenneth Walker with a solid first carry, going to get around 13 yards. I'm going to say 12. <clears throat> Where's that now from the 37-yard line? See a man in motion. It's going to be a fake to Moody. An actual handoff to Walker. He's going to get wrapped up around the 39, getting two. Second and eight now. It's going to be a throw from Walton. That's going to be complete to Moody up to midfield. It's enough for a first down and a gain of 11. Pittsburgh has improved to 6 and 2. They're having a very good start to their season. It's going to be a handoff to Walker, who's going to get up to 49, getting one yard in. Ooh, he fought for that one yard a lot. Second and nine now from the 49 yard line. It's going to be a throw from Walton. And Kenneth Walker will go all the way. Kenneth Walker getting a 49 yard touchdown. I believe he did the same thing last week, but a lot more. Just a wheel route that worked to perfection. Again. And the extra point is good. Dante Jackson gets injured on the extra point attempt. Hope you get better, Dante Jackson. Let me field it around the one yard line. And it returned up to around the 22... First and 10 from the 22, 344 left to go in the first quarter. Allen is going to throw. Checking it down to Gabe Davis. He's going to get up to the 30-yard line, gain of 8. Making it second and 2 now.
Going to be a handoff with Nick Bosa there immediately. Going to be back at the 27 and a half yard line. Making it third and four now. And... You've got to be kidding me. That's the second time we've been moshed now. That's such a joke. Who is it this time? Byron Murphy? There's one foot. Oh. That is so close, but you can see that foot does. We're going to throw this. We're going to throw the flag. Maybe get overturned. And it's overturned. It actually worked out. So they're going to say incomplete after further review. Looks like he did not get that second foot down in time. And it was very close, but the challenge flag does work out. Darren Moody going to break a tackle. Just don't fumble. Up to the 29. So we do win the challenge, which means we save our time out. But I believe we're down to one. I believe you get two challenges per game. Might be per half. I'm assuming game now. I can't quite remember. Ronald Jones got a gain of seven there, up to the 35. That's going to be complete to Ronald Jones across midfield to the 48. They're going to say 49. First and 10 now from the 49 yard line. Walton. Complete to Ridley. Ridley's up to around the. 16 yard line. Hit as he froze. Trying to hit Darren Moody in the back of the end zone, but it's going to be incomplete. That was sweet. 3 0 for Atlanta. Going right back to the back of the end zone. This time for Juan Broughton. That one also incomplete. The Rams leading 7-0 over the Eagles. Here's the issue with Walton this, uh, in this scenario. He's going end zone when he doesn't have to. See, he's gone end zone. He had Komet open that time. Just missed him. He went end zone all three times instead of trying to just pick up the first down. Baltimore leads 14-0 new, over New Orleans. And we're going to take the lead 10-7 after uh, a Matt Gay field goal. Kick's going to be returned up to the 21-yard line. By number 20. 33 seconds left to go in the quarter. Allen is going to throw. It's going to be complete to Gabriel Davis. He's going to up to around the 34. Excuse me, the 24. And Jackson will lead 7 up and go for Indianapolis. They do call one last play. That's going to do it for this quarter. And Bosa's going to sack Josh Allen back at the 15. Horrible choice there to call another play. Here's the first score stats for those of you who are curious. We lead 10-7, to 7, but let me tell you. These Bills guys have great hands, apparently. They've uh, mossed us twice now, but luckily one of them was out of bounds. Just barely. Instant pressure. It's caught by did No, incomplete. It's just... Well, no, it was caught. Never mind. Four from seven to punting units out there. Green Bay leads 7 nothing over the Seahawks. Or, yeah, the Seahawks. And fair caught at the 32-yard line. It's number six. I want to say that's Isaiah McKenzie. I don't know if he's still on the team or not. Got down there immediately. Walton. Takes the check down to Darren Moody. Gets a gain of two. They're going to say three, actually. That's generous. Cleveland now ties up with Tampa Bay at seven. Walton. Rolling out. Throwing. And incomplete. Just threw it away. It looks like. 
Third and seven from the 34 yard line. Well, that's definitely not. Oh, and he's going to be sacked immediately. And now with the sack. And by the way, uh, number six is not Isaiah and McKenzie because they are playing defense. A bad snap, but luckily no one nearby. It's a beautiful kick. And making sure to get the tackle. Matthew Sweeting goes down with an injury. Down at the 26. That was a great punt by Jack Fox. A quick pass to Dawson Knox is going to be complete up to the 33. Going to 7. Making it a second and 3. Got the 33. Going to be a handoff to Singletary. He's going to be short of the first down by about a yard, maybe half a yard. Justin Jones got the tackle. And on third down, Singletary is going to get the first down up to the 38. But another injury, center Nick Gates goes out with an injury. Now in shock and formation. This could be huge with that center going down. Wide open is number 10. And he's going to get the first down up to the 49. You got to like that. That's Khalil Shakir. Atlanta takes the lead 7-3 over Dallas. Hand off to Singletary. He's going to get four up to the 47 across midfield now. The screen pat. Oh, no, it's not. That's going to be intercepted. And getting insta tackle, I thought maybe had a chance at a pick six. That is Kyle Hamilton at the 42. Well, we forced our one turnover. So, yay. There's a, a weekly challenge done. This is a screen pass, but that's incomplete. Number 41 getting a hand in there, batting the ball away before it could ride to Ronald Jones. Norman scores a touchdown, bringing their deficit down to seven now. Only down 14-7. Ronald Jones up to midfield. Going to need about two more yards now for the first down. Making it third and two. Three and a half left to go in the, in the half. Going to be a handoff. I, uh, Kenneth Walker is going to be just short. And we're going to punt. Are you sh Why are you punting? That's a horrible punt too. Out at the 23. That's like a 15 yard punt. If I'm calling the play there, 100% going for it. Not even a question. That's going to be complete to Shakir. He's going to get up to the 46, and that's a great start already. Oh, by the way, I think that punt was 25 yards, actually, instead of 15. Now that I'm doing the math. That was complete, but no gain. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. Second and ten now at the 46-yard line. Bears do receive second-half kickoff, by the way. Allen has time. Shakir open over the middle up to the 40-yard line. I tell you, Shakir is doing a great job today. That's incomplete. Bounced off the helmet of one of the players, and then Singletary almost caught it. Shakir, I believe, was a fifth round pick in the 2022 draft. That's complete to 15. Barnett gained 17 up to the 23. Now, minute 10 remaining. That's going to be complete to Shakir again up to the 14. Bills called our first time out with a minute one remaining. Second and one now going to be a pass from Allen going end zone and it's caught by Gabe Davis but out of bounds that was a great attempt there looked like Allen was just trying to throw it away really bring in pressure and Knox is that is that Knox I can't tell first down head up to the eight Bill takes their second time out that was Stanford so not Knox 5 was 21 10 over the Cowboys 
That's going to be complete to Davis. No, that's Shakir up to the three yard line. Keeping the clock running. And Diggs capping off the drive with a three yard touchdown. And the Bills are going to go. Or are going to take the lead. 14 to 10. Okay, the extra one is good. Bears do have 28 seconds and three timeouts. I could see the Bears maybe trying a field goal, but I do think a touchdown is going to be out of the equation. I want to say, you know, something very bizarre happens. Now 23 seconds after Darren Moody returns up to the 25. Seattle ties the game at 7 with Green Bay. 25 seconds, 20, or excuse me, 23 seconds at the 25-yard line. Wallen is going to throw and gets sacked immediately by 41. Tyndale, that's the second time he's gone a sack off of a blitz like that. That's going to take us to the half. Ball Murray 28-14 over to Saints, by the way. Tyndale having himself a great first half, getting two sacks. Where I think we've gone wrong is not going for it on four finishes from the 48. There's the first half stat for those who are curious, by the way. I think we should definitely go for that. But other than that, I don't know. Walling on that one drive where we had to settle for a field goal going for Enzo was very iffy. Daniel Jones with a touchdown. Which went to Traylon Burst. They're tied at seven. Seahawks Packers. Next we're heading to Atlanta, Georgia, where the Falcons lead. 21-10. Raider with a touchdown. Barkley with a touchdown. Claxton with a touchdown. So, yeah. And finally, we had the Philly where the... Eagles are trailing 14-7. Blatter for touchdown, which went to Van Jefferson. McDowell for touchdown, which went to A.J. Brown, who has one reception for 50 yards. But yeah. You know, just... You heard the Bears when it comes down the front of all short. Well, I don't know why he's taking end zone shots. Like, we don't need a touchdown. We can still get a first down. Here are the, uh, the Bills when it comes down the front of the ball short. Both teams have similar game plans, apparently. So that's what shocked me with Paul Wan. Just that sequence of three plays going end zone each time. I can understand the first one. Showing aggressiveness. The second one, I didn't really like. You're asking for a questionable receiver and Juan Broughton to make a play over Tredavious White in the corner of the end zone. Green Bay scores 10 points before the half to be up 17-7. to Oh my god, bro. Caleb Von Chase on with the sack. They are blitzing like hell. Why are you throwing it away there? I can understand why, but why so early? You had plenty of time. Third and 17 from the 16. We're going to end up punting. There's no shot we get 17 yards. We didn't even complete it to Kenneth Walker because he wasn't looking. Jaguars lead 21 to 3 right before half. Another bad snap by the long snapper. This is actually starting to get me concerned. And that's going to be turned up to the 43. Great return there. And number 42 is injured. Tampa Bay lead 17 10 over Cleveland. That's going to be intercepted. A bad throw by Allen. Number 90. Yannick Ngakwe getting the interception. Why are you in coverage? Oh, Jones going to get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain there. Losing him with Walton, man. What happened? He started out amazing. And now all of a sudden, he... 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 he, he like, has he completed, like, two passes? And he's gonna be sacked again. Holy fuck! Throw the damn football, Walton! And while you're at it, complete the pass. You started out the game, like, four for four, and you've gone two and... That's going to be a beautiful punt. Down to six. 
Uh, you started out like four for four, and now you're six and fourteen. Like, what is happening, bro? I can understand the Bills are four and four, but like, why are you struggling all of a sudden? What happened to that momentum that just caused it to stop? It was such a good game. And then all of a sudden, there's like a string tied to our momentum, and that string got fucking cut by a piece of scissors. Again with the moss, bro. This is unrealistic at this point. Holy shit, bro. I'm not even that mad at this game. I'm just mad at how fucking... Oh, you gotta fucking intercept that, you motherfucker. They're gonna get the first down here. Rams lead 21-7 over the Eagles. There it is, the first down. I knew it. This game is giving us chances, and then we're just not capitalizing. You know why? Because Wallen's a fucking idiot. Because our defense, for some reason, is allowing these bum-ass receivers like Khalil Shakir to get wide fucking open every play. And because our O-line, even though our plan was to not let the blitz happen, they've gotten like free sacks off of blitzes so far. Who are you? Tyree Brooks, I'm not fucking re-signing you. Why are you looking behind you? Who's fucking over there? You're, you're, you're supposed to be guarding Stanford, not looking at the end zone. Holy shit, bro. Do your damn job. You're get, you're an NFL player. You're getting paid millions. And you're this ass? Motherfucker, the USFL wouldn't even want you. You're playing this fucking shit. There we go, Stanford. No, that's Shakir. <laughs> Fucking guard him next time, Heen. Is it that hard to ask? I got another fucking quarter to deal with this. It's a close game, what sucks too. Like, this is a... We should be winning by at least two scores. But we're not, because... We haven't done shit. We had a great first drive. And then we got a good field goal drive. That should have ended in a touchdown. I don't know what Paul Wong was doing. And now look. We're, we're doing horrible. There's no way he avoided that sack. Come on, defense. Green Bay's won their game. They're up 17. There's no way they lose. And now we're letting a guy like Devin Singletary run all over us. This is so fucking unrealistic. I can't believe this. I'm, I'm swimming. I don't give a shit, bro. I'm fucking tired of Khalil Shakir! Jump forward, end the game. Go fuck yourself, EA. I can... T Why the fuck is there a chance we're going to win? Oh my god. We won. Well, I'm sorry for simming that game. Somehow we pulled off a 27-24 comeback. Yay. I'm not even happy about a win anymore. How long has this episode been? It hasn't even been 30 minutes. Am I really about to upload a 30 minute video? Because I'm so fucking salty about how shit this game's been today. This video is going out on Monday, and I'm recording it on Friday, because I was like, let's play Madden today. It's going to be very fun. This is not fun. This is not my definition of fun. This is no one's definition of fun. I'm going to sim this game. I know we're going to lose because it's the Cowboys. We're just going to lose. Like, EA, seriously, the person in charge of this game is a huge Cowboys fan. Shocker, we lost. Who would have fucking thought that we would lose to the team that EA fucking six dick sucks? Shocker. Can't make this shit up, man, bro. Just do a better fucking job, EA. We're going to play the Titans next episode. We're not going to 
extend that one. I'm not shocked that we lost our uh, game against the Cowboys because, you know, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we lose to a team who's doing so shit? Why wouldn't the Cowboys go on a 10-game winning streak to make the playoffs? And why wouldn't they make a run to the Super Bowl? Okay, one receiver. We're missing. Oh, sweet, the two edge rushers. No, not edge rushers, actually. So we're missing a receiver, a left outside linebacker, or right outside linebacker, doesn't really matter. And I think middle linebacker. Yeah, so two linebackers and a receiver. This... Just sign someone, bro. There's no there's no reason why every time I sign a left outside linebacker, they end up getting signed. There is no reason why this should be happening still. Practice squad eligible. Congrats, Jeff Leach. I don't even give a crap anymore. Just join the team. Congrats, Carson Knox. You're joining the team as well. And wide receiver will actually put care into because, yeah. Receiver, nope, not tight end. Receiver, there's plenty of guys. Two, two, two. Ooh, a rookie. No. Lorenzo Coleman, welcome to the team. Florida a and I've never heard of that school before. <laughs> so, here we are. We have, uh... In the next episode, we'll watch the Titans game, and that'll be it. What are the Cowboys' record? NFC East. They got three wins, and yet we lost to them by 17 points. I knew. I had a feeling we were going to lose. I felt so tempted to force win. But that's cheating, so. Okay, we can either do increase by going to quarterback, time for agency, or wide receiver tight end. Or is there anything I'm missing here? Oh. All players on your team count as scheme fits during trading. Or, or what is this actually? Reset one talent tree. I don't really want to do that. We're going to go ahead and buy the final piece. There we go. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Can't say I did. Sorry for, you know, raging at this game, but... Oh. Let me tell you, man. I just can't with EA. It's just infuriating. Like, I pray that Madden 24 will be good. I hope EA finally, like, takes notice that, hey... Our jaws are probably on the line. Let's let's do something. Let's look at the playoff picture. I see the lines are five and five. Dolphins nine and one. They're having a great season. Panthers eight and one. We're seven and three. We're gonna go to the NFC where the Panthers are the one seed. We are the two seed. Commanders are the three seed. 49ers are the four seed. Wow, that's convenient. Five, six, seven. We have the best division in football, arguably. Let's sort by division. AFC North? Eh, maybe them, actually. Not bad. Horrendous. Horrendous. Pretty solid besides the Chargers. Then we have us. Eh, pretty solid besides the Saints. Uh, and... Wow. Well, congrats 49ers. As long as you don't choke, you're going to win your division. So yeah, I'd say we had the best division. Maybe you could argue a guy like the the uh, the North, the AFC North, because they have a seven and two and a seven three seed or team. So yeah, I think the Norths are essentially just dominant. But in the next episode, we'll watch our former quarterback and wide receiver Darnell Mooney, the is the wide receiver, and Justin Fields, the quarterback, uh, who are having. A very successful season themselves. Ooh, that should be a... Oh, no, that's Raiders. I thought that said Panthers and Chiefs. What did I say? Panthers, Ravens, that's pretty good. And then Chicago, Tennessee.
Javante McDowell apparently might not going to be returning to the Eagles. James Robinson and self came back in practice for the Jaguars. Good for them. Denzel Ward back on the field for this weekend, yes. Carl Underwood signs with the uh, the Texans. Oh. Um. Amani Hooker hit the rookie wall already. Is he? Is there a rookie named Amani Hooker? League transactions. Has there been uh traded? Start to trade the left hat or left end Drake Jackson to the Bengals. The Bengals traded Kevin Miller to the Chargers. The Titans traded a or Falcons traded a seventh round pick to the Titans and Joshua Palmer. And in return they got uh right outside linebacker Paul Ford. Wow, so just bouncing around Drake Jackson. Drake Jackson got traded to the from the Broncos to the Chargers. And so did a seventh round pick in return they got Randy McLean. And then, you know, weeks later, Drake Jackson gets traded to the Bengals for Kevin Miller. So no one got traded during the trade deadline. I thought we've had any retired, yeah. Clear resign. Nick Harris, Ben Powers, Cam Jurgens, Junior Gibson, Xavier Stump, DeMarvin Leo, Jeff Okuda, Parker Caldwell, Jalen Mayfield. Jalen Mayfield, hey, congrats, man. Wait. Nope. Ignore that. That's a different series. I'm talking about Falcon franchise. I, for some reason, thought Jalen Mayfield was on our team at one point. Nope, that was Man 22. Vikings resign Sergio Pagan. I wish he would have walked. Who was our team's or our division resign? Jeff Akuda, Parker Caldwell, Sergio Pagan, Bradley Bosley, Ezra Cleveland, Devondre Campbell. Derwin Lambert, Taylor Decker, Terrell Edmonds, Kenny Stills, the cornerback, not the receiver. Cordell Burton. Oh man, that there goes that. Uh, then here's us signing Courtney Ferguson and Darren Rivers. Cameron Dancer, Kyle Meeks gets a huge contract extension. Getting paid what? Uh right around just under 30 mil a year. Kinda. Around there. Owen oh, Jenkins. We re-signed Sean Murphy Bunting. Obviously, he is, in my opinion, the best defensive back in the league. Brian Neal. Or O'Neal, excuse me. And Ed Oliver. Alright, that's gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed this ending, not the beginning. I'll see you guys next time, which will be... On Thursday for you guys, for me, it'll probably be Wednesday. And yeah, goodbye and hope you enjoyed.